cold winter's morning. It's my birthday today, um, and I decided to go with shades of gray. Gonna carry this coat with me because it's mad cold today, okay? Um, <clears throat> excited. Gonna be going to work uh, just for a couple of hours, maybe until around mañana, 10 o'clock or something like that. Then uh, I'm going to, I don't know, maybe take myself out for a nice brunch. I don't know. You know, we're just going to wing the day. Um, there's a lot to discuss and talk to you about. Yesterday was my sister's graduation. There's a clothing haul in this video that I need to do and uh, preps for my trip later on this week. So mm, lots needs to be done. But today it's my birthday. And while it's my birthday, I decided to go with a gray look this time around. And I love it. I love it. But I do have to go to work. So. Good morning. Uh, coming at you. Cutleo, you know, the bunny, whatever it is I am. A, a, a bee, a bear. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. Hi, everybody. Um, I started this vlog earlier this week filming on my camera. Uh, it is my birthday week. It's my birthday month. So I'm basically going to be celebrating my birthday the whole month. That's that on that, okay? Um, and so the week started off with my grandmother's birthday, which happened to be on the same day as Naledi's graduation for her MBA. Congrats, Nals. Love ya, love ya. Um, and then the following day was my birthday and I didn't necessarily do much except I left work early. I went to work, left work early, looked around at exclusive books because I wanted to treat myself to more books as if I don't have enough, okay? I can tell you I've probably bought more than eight, maybe... <clears throat> Okay, let's say around eight, five to eight books in the last two weeks. <clears throat> but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, so I um, bought books and then I sat somewhere and I had breakfast and then, no, lunch, lunch. Uh, no, actually, I lie. Um, I left work, bought books and then popped into my optometrist because I needed to change my glasses, my eyeglasses. Um, I'll show you the ones, the ones that I had before are the Tom Ford ones. And uh, this time around, I opted to go with the Prada ones. So I'll show you all of those. The, everything is downstairs, the books are downstairs. Um, I want to do a clothing haul, uh, all of that stuff. And then uh, I left the mall, my optometrist, and then I went to... I went to Doppio Zero in Camaro, which is not really far from where I uh, live. And I treated myself there to a pizza and a drink. And my sister came and she joined me on my birthday. And then yesterday I went to work, was Wednesday. I went to work and then I went out with my father for breakfast. And then I then went to <clears throat> Hyde Park which maybe I may have put in that footage. I went to Hyde Park to buy my father's uh, 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 Father's Day gift, my mother's um, just a gift, you know, for her being so supportive in this time. Bought my sisters something as well, both my sisters, Naledi and um, uh, Khanya. And that was great. Um, and then I met up with my sister, sisters, mom for burgers um it's my birthday week so i'm eating really trashy foods but what i've realized is that i'm actually eating once a day which is weird anyway and then today is thursday and i am going to get my nails done i actually have a new sh it's like a black uh thing né? but i'm going to change them because i'm going on holiday tomorrow so it's just going to change the color. Just going to change the color. It won't, I won't even be there longer than an hour. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then after that, 
I have to come back, do a clothing haul, chat to you guys, all of this, maybe even potentially start packing. Um, my partner's coming through later tonight, and then we're going to leave from here for the little trip tomorrow. So excited, but for now, my ass needs to shower and get, get my life in order. So let's do that because I need to be at the nail place in 45 minutes, okay? Hey, yeah. So I am pretty much done, okay? I haven't done anything to my hair. I just wet it a little bit as I do every day. I ain't trying to do that, you know. I'm in tracks, slacks, you know how it is. And I'm um, going to leave the house now. going to make myself some uh, orange water because I don't have lemons. So I'm going to make myself some orange water. Uh, with a bit of just maybe two ice cubes. I'm trying to not have too much ice in winter. And then I am going to bounce. The only difference is I don't know where my car key is. I know where the one car key is, but I don't know where the other car key is. And that's the car key I need. So, I'm as gaming. Let's go downstairs. Uh, let's go do the things at, at the stairs of the town. And... Um, Go. I need to get a couple of things for tomorrow. Not a couple of things. Like literally one thing. I need to get <clears throat> uh, setting spray for makeup because I realized, I just realized that I'm out. So I'm going to get that. And then, Sibim Jondolo. I was going to wear a beanie, but why when you've got, you know? So let's go. Let's do this. My room is a tip. Definitely. I'm hoping it's down here because it's, if it's not down here, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I found it. Mm. Child, let me make this orange water and go. I need to get out of this house in five minutes. I need a, oh no, I need a, a power bank. Okay, all right, let's, let's do this. just had lunch and I had a whole entire chicken licking and it was amazing um, but now I need to get myself in order okay I really need to get myself in order because I have a lot to do and Honaje they're cutting the grass outside I don't know if they've started or if they're going to uh, ish and that's loud so I'm gonna have to wait for them to finish but before they start um, let me quickly show you the books that I've picked up. It's unhealthy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven books have been picked up over the last, I'd like to say two weeks. <laughs> I'd like to say two weeks. Um, and <clears throat> am I excited about them? Absolutely. I am excited about them. Um, uh, I'm trying to decide which book, which book I want to read now because I finished reading uh, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted uh, two days ago and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I rated it a four out of five on my Goodreads. If you didn't know that I'm on Goodreads, now you know. Now you know. And I got back from doing my nails and that's pretty much how they look, you know. You know, for a safari, and I'm going to a safari tomorrow, so that's pretty much how they look. And, <clears throat> like I said to you guys, I changed my eyeglasses, 
and I got a Prado, Prada, <laughs> and my sister said that they're very christian -esque. and I wanted to get something that is black, with a black frame, uh, but very bold, but also at the same time I wanted to have them reduce the blue light, because in my previous eye glasses, the blue light is actually quite strong. I can't wear the glasses while I'm filming. I have to take them off. So this time around, they put in a sapphire kind of, which is much lighter than, you see, much lighter than the blue light, which I really, I just love these. <laughs> and my sister was like, wow, you're looking kind of like Kris Jenner, like you're about to set up some meetings and do your thing. I'm like, yeah. Yes, yeah, sister, that's me. Mm -hmm. um, books, lots and lots of books. Can't decide quite yet which one I want to start with. It's definitely going to be from this pile right here that I'm going to show you. Um, I got a little bit crazy because, hey man, it's my birthday month. And I got a little bit crazy because, I mean, I've been buying my family members gifts and stuff. And I was just like, okay, because I can't decide what I want to buy for myself. What I will do is I will buy uh, myself books. That's the one thing that I, I get right in my life. And I will buy myself books. So the first book I'm not going to give any synopsis of because um, I reserve giving synopsis, synopses of books uh, for my membership space where I introduce the book and I talk about what the book is about. So I'm just, just going to show you um, the books that I picked up. And do I love all the covers? Wow. I don't know what is going on with books or bookshops or publishers or whatever, but covers for books these days are just, and I'm a cover, I'm a cover buyer. Okay. I, the story is very important to me too, but man, if the cover just accentuate, I'm picking up the book. Um, so the first one I got was, um, by Elif Shafak which is uh, the island of missing trees. And look at that. Look at that. Don't focus on me, chair. Focus on the book, chair. Here we go. Wow. They're in my yard. Can you hear them? Guess we're going to have to wait this one out. Sorry, chair. Okay. So... I think they're still busy, but I don't know what's going on. So because there isn't any noise right now, let me show you the rest of the book. So the second one is The Mothers by Britt Bennett. And I loved, loved The Vanishing Half. And I read that and I've probably done a number of videos. It was part of my top 10 books of 2020, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it 2021? I don't remember, but the mothers is what she wrote before she wrote the vanishing half. And because the writing was absolutely amazing, I picked this up. Um, I got these books from a variation of exclusive books and bargain books. So here and there. Um, and then I got, uh, Emily Henry, you and me on vacation, which is also known as people we meet on vacation in the West. So uh, for us, they're calling it you and me on vacation, but it is pretty much the same book. And now I have three of her books because my partner bought me book lovers the other day when we went out with him and Hanya for a movie and we went and we watched what did we watch? Uh, Bad Guys, which was really, really good. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, so after that, he bought Hanya and I some books. And he got me book lovers and uh, bought Hanya more books. I just got one chair because clearly my partner and Hanya are best friends now. So whatever. Um, so I then picked up You and Me on Vacation. So I've got book... Uh, Book Lovers, You and Me on Vacation, and Each Read. And I still haven't read any of them, so working on it. And then the next one is this one by uh, Avni Doshi. And it's known, it's called, <laughs> known as, it's called Burn Sugar. And I'm really, really excited to read this one as well. I've heard really great things about it. Um, so yeah, can't wait to read that. 
And then this one I found out about when I was watching Sharon's video. I think I was watching, but months ago, I think. Um, we are all birds of Uganda by Hafsa Zayan or Zayan. I'm not sure how you pronounce the surname, but uh, the cover is absolutely stunning. We love it. And uh, can't wait to read this one as well. I can't quite decide whether I want to read a romance novel, whether I want to read something deeper, whether I want to read something light. Um, I do think I'm going to take two books along with me this weekend from tomorrow. Uh, one will be a slightly thinner one and then one will be a thicker one uh, because we are going to have a lot of downtime when we're there. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, the next book that I have here is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. And uh, this was a recommendation by one of my favorite booktubers that I watch from the States. And uh, no, from England. Is it, was it Jack? Was it Jack? No, from Norway. It was, uh, what's her name? The book castle, Alice. Her name is Alice. And uh, she recommended this and she said it was brilliantly written. And then I thought to myself, I'm going to pick it up. So when I saw it, so yeah, when I saw it, I was like, okay, love it. Love the cover. It's stunning. It's beautiful. And then the last two, which I do not have the other one here, it's on my counter somewhere. It's called Open Water. I'll put a picture of it here here so you can see it but it's on the cupboard chair somewhere in there um and then the last one is pachinko by minjin lee which i've been wanting <clears throat> which i've been wanting to read for a very long time but this one is a chunky mon monkey okay this one is 500 pages long it's not even 500 pages 537 hectic this is a chunky monkey this would have actually been great to take along on the trip and i just take one book with me but i'm very pedantic about what i read and especially when i'm away i'm very particular about what i'm reading so i don't know i might take pachinko P pachinko or i might take something light you and me on vacation i am going on vacation aren't i <laughs> Just a quick shot left, so I might take this and I might take open water. I don't know what I'm going to take. Um, but basically those are the books. I'm pretty sure that they are more books that I picked up. I'm just too lazy to go to my bookshelf and look. Um, I'm pretty sure some of them have already packed away. But anyway, that's fine. We're going to go upstairs uh, so that I can show you some of the clothes that I have picked up. Over the last I don't know how long um, and the reason for me picking up these clothes is because I haven't worn I haven't bought clothes like this in a very long time way like it's just chunks and chunks of clothes typically I'll just buy like one outfit and then two months later I'll buy another outfit and whatever but um, I'm very much into tracksuits as you can see so you can expect a lot of tracksuits in that uh, the, the clothing haul. I got some coats as well because my issue is that the coats that I do have are very expensive and I don't have the everyday coats. Like there's a Pringle coat, a Ted Baker coat, that kind of thing. But I don't have every day like a coat that I can throw on top of this. Like if it's really, really cold. Uh, but now I got two from Fashini. I'm really, really excited. I think one of them is going to come on the trip with me tomorrow. Um, and then I'll probably take a jacket. My partner bought me a jacket from Cape Union Mart, just like a windbreaker jacket, um, which he'll be coming with today. So I haven't seen it, but, uh, he bought that for both of us so that we don't get cold when there's, you know, the game drives and all of that. So that's good. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm pretty much going to show you the clothes. I haven't done a podcast episode since I've been back and I'm aware that I haven't done it, but it's just, there's been so much that was going on and fixing the house and doing this and blah, 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 and trying to be back at work and then trying to, you know, um, just get into normal life and everyday life that, um, the podcast kind of 
I was just like, it's fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. And I will when I come back. Um, so there will be a podcast episode or episodes in June sometime. Um, and then we'll get back into the swing of things. Um, if you haven't joined my membership space, definitely do. Thank you to all the people who've joined. I am so, so humbled by the amount of people who've joined so far. Um, you guys are my day ones, man. I really, really appreciate it because it is because of that, that you are helping me create more content and feel like I am not, you know, I'm not, I, I, you make me feel like it's, it, it, it's worth it to keep pushing because for the salary that I get from YouTube each month, it ain't shit, but, uh, the membership space is actually going to help me to continue to create the content and all of that. So I really, really do appreciate all of you guys who have joined. And if you haven't joined, please do, uh, there's lots and lots of videos coming. There's a video each week on the membership space and two videos on the main space for everybody else. So when you remember, you get to see three videos in a week, which is wild. I don't even know how I'm keeping up with all of that. Catch me outside. How about that? Um, so, yeah, while these guys are still quiet, let's maybe move upstairs so I can show you some of the clothes that I got. And then I can start packing because time is against me. It's already two o'clock. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not looking good. And I want to be all packed uh before i go to bed tonight and i tend to pack pretty slow <sighs> but yeah let's hey, do hi that. um i am on my floor in the yavas in the hovies um and i'm gonna show you some of the things that i got okay there's a bunch of stuff here um i might even do a try on portion i don't mind uh the first things that i picked up were this tracksuit set that I'm wearing. And I'm gonna tell you where I got everything. Um, here's the thing with me, right? I am very particular about the shoes that I wear because I like good quality shoes. So a lot of the time, I'm very particular about where I buy my shoes, like Zaldo, Zaldo, Aldo, Zara. I'm looking at them right there. That's why I'm a little bit weird. Uh, Aldo, Zara, that kind of stuff and uh nine west whatever uh steve madden whatever country road very particular about where i buy my shoes because i really love good quality shoes something is happening but clothes i buy clothes everywhere if i see a nice tracksuit set from pick and pay clothing i'm gonna buy it if i see a nice tracksuit set from zara steve madden uh and pay clothing, what China Mall, um, Fushini, um, Mr. Price, I'll buy it if I'm comfortable in it and it looks good and it feels good. I'll buy it. That's why I often try out everything that I buy in the store before I come home with it. And then I look at it and I'm like, okay, it looks okay, it looks pretty good, then I'll buy it. But typically, I'm very, very I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm down for whatever. Okay. One of the winter stuff that I love to get and wear in winter are deltas. Nike is a delta, but uh, beanies, uh, I love to wear them when I have um, a wig on. I love to wear them when I don't have a wig on. I feel like my, my head is pretty great for beanies. Okay. So I picked up four of these in different colors. Three. I'll check. I'll check. The other ones will come out just now. And then in no particular order, I will show you what I picked up. Let's start with this. This is like a shift dress that I thought was stunning and might probably take with me um, tomorrow to the trip um, because it's very uh, safari ishy kind of colors, which I think is lovely. It hits me just below the knee. This was from fushini and uh, i absolutely love it i don't give prices because you guys know how i feel about money and whatever i just like it's from fushini if you want to go check it out go check it out hopefully you find it and then one thing i did find that i've been looking for 
for years, for years, because I grew up wearing this one thing. De le la. Say it with me now. De le la. I finally found a Delal, guys, and I found it with Mr. Price. Mr. Price. And it actually set pretty well on me. And I was like, well, it's fine. De Lela is not something I would wear all the time, but I found it and I will show you how it looks. I will do a try on portion or maybe I'll just stick it on the side here so you can see. And um, sweetie, I love it. I love it. It's got like the mom jean color vibe and it's open. It's flared a little bit. And I, oh man, it's got a little bit of ripped detailing here, you can see, and on the other side. And I loved it that much that I was like, you know what, I'm going to pick it up. I don't have it, Delela. Yay. So, so my camera cut out while I was recording. The memory disc was full. So, the last thing I think I spoke about was this. And I got this Delela from Mr. Price. Delelas are a thing and I actually love it. I think like on a weekend if you're gonna go to a farmer's market or whatever you can have a sweater underneath and actually wear the Delela on top and then some nice sneakers and Bob's your uncle. Okay, Bob's your uncle. And then I am a sweater queen. So let's zoom you out a little bit. Okay, yeah, I am a sweater queen. So I picked up this sweater in the men's section. It's written what? Happy dogs. <laughs> happy dog yeah hot dogs uh-huh I picked this sweater up in the men's section in the fix because I don't know why I had gone into the fix but I saw it and I liked it and I was like oh okay well I'm gonna pick this up and then you guys know I love bodycon dresses that stretch and hug the body very nicely I've got a few from the fix and this one was from Mr. Price I've got a few from River Island I think I've got one from Zara. So I typically love these. This is great if you're gonna top it over with a denim jacket and then just do a scarf and then some like sneakers for a Saturday out with your girlfriend's coffee, whatever. Chillin. Uh, Chillin. Next out is a sweater dress and I've got this in gray and in white and I picked this up as you can see slightly longer. It's a sweater dress. And I picked this up from Mr. Price. Again, picked it up from Mr. Price. Thought it would be great. I love to wear sweater dresses with um, tights or stockings or whatever. And then uh, combat boots sometimes. I've got a, I've got a combat boot. <laughs> so beautiful. Combat boots sometimes. Even just normal Chelsea boots in the winter time. I really love this. And then I'll top it off with a coat on top and a scarf. And then it's just, I'm warm, I'm toasty. And I've got tights on which are thick. And I typically buy those tights from Woolies. And um, yeah, it's like, we call it tights, but it's like just talking. I said tight, yeah, one tall, but it's the thicker kind. They call them tights. So yeah, love that. Got the white one. The white one was in the wash, so it's in the laundry what what right now um these are the other colors of the beanies that i picked up which i will be taking with me um tomorrow not all of them but i'll decide dependent on what i'll be wearing um we got this lovely fawn they're all from fushini all of them are from fushini we got this lovely fawn color beautiful we got a gray color gorgeous and we got like a cream cream white kind of color excellent beautiful mm. and then of course because um have you met me sweaters so i picked these up at sweaters i mean tracksuit cords right uh the pants and the top picked these up from foshini because foshini has great ones i've got the white version of this exact same thing i've i have had that for over a year now um and more socks, of course. Uh, I've got the white version. Now I've got the black version. And also have the green version. So this is the army green version. This is one of the outfits I'll be taking with me tomorrow. Not, no doubt, no doubt. Taking it with me tomorrow. I wanted to wash these before I pack them away, but I won't have time for that. 
I really won't have time and I can't risk them not drying. That's the thing. So I also got it in army green, which is pretty dope. I will fit them on so that you guys can see. And then from Refinery, I got this two-piece cohort set, which is like a, a jersey material, brown, and uh, it hits right on my calf, just below the knee. And this is the skirt version, which is beautiful. I'm gonna take this with me as well. I might actually be wearing this tomorrow. Might be wearing this tomorrow. And the top version. So these, I thought were a steal. I loved these when I saw them. Uh, Palisa I know also has the gray one. These are both from Fashini. This I was wearing on my sister's graduation day. Um, and I remember somebody asking on the Instagram picture that I put up on my birthday um, where I got the, the coat from. It's this coat, it's available at Fashini now. Now, you can go and find it now. By the time I finish editing this, it will still be there. And I also got the phone one. And what I typically mean about my coats is this, right? So the, the coats that I have are great coats, but they're quite expensive. This is a Ted Baker one and I love it. And the colors are not the same, yes? They have a bit of camel brown in them, but one is definitely darker than the other, and I love both of them. I really do. I think this is the one that I'll probably take with me on the trip tomorrow. Uh, not so much the gray one. We'll see, but this is what I mean. So most of my coats are not coats that I typically want to wear as an everyday coat. So now I have them. Right, last but not least, shoes from Steve Madden. And so one thing is that I've been looking for combat boots for a really long time, trying to find a good combat boot. And I found one. <laughs> I found the combat boot of my dreams, okay? When I mean combat boot, you basically lace ups, right? But uh, it's a flat one and I got this from Steve Madden and I died when I saw it. Look at this. Look at this boot. It's got a bit of a platform as well. It's such a pretty boot. I love it. And you zip it up on the side so it's great. I never have to touch the laces. So I just open up the zip and then put my fit, foot in there and then zip it up. And I absolutely love them. Whew. Love this. These are what I'm carrying with me.